Hello everyone and welcome back to my tech corner. Now over the years Corsair has released many different kinds of gaming mouses and some of them being the same performance as others, there's actually many differences in all of them. Now in this video we'll just be looking at two of them and keep in mind I have used these two mouses over an extended period of time so I feel like the comparison will be pretty fair. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. The first mouse we'll be looking at is the Corsair Dark Core Pro SE. Coming in at a whopping 90 bucks on the Corsair website, this mouse actually has a little bit of bang for your buck. With a super fast 2.4 GHz wireless connection using Corsair's Slipstream technology, in combination with its 18,000 DPI optical sensor, this thing is very overpowered when it comes to performance with other mice. On top of having performance, it also has some custom ability. Having 8 zones for RGB lighting and an interchangeable finger rest on the right, this thing is definitely ready for providing those extra frames to your video games with its RGB. This mouse also has 3 stages of DPI, but sadly no sniper button. But that's compensated by its 2 fully programmable side buttons, which actually came pretty useful in some of the other games that I played. And of course, everything that this mouse has to offer can be completely changed and customizable in the Corsair IQ software going from key assignments all the way down to surface calibration. You can even go into the settings and change when this mouse actually goes to sleep and even enable angle snapping, which is something really, really nice to see. This mouse being Bluetooth really helps keep everything organized on my desk. And then also it's able to connect to my headset dongle, which is something really, really nice to see. Not only is this mouse chargeable through USB-C, but then it also has a battery life of up to 20 hours with the RGB on and 40 hours without the RGB. And it also has a two year warranty, so there's no need to fear. Now something that I definitely don't like to see is how expensive this mouse is. $90 is a lot for a gaming mouse like this. Yes, it has some knobs and levers here and there, but there are some cheaper alternatives on the market right now from Razer or Logitech that can either do exactly the same or better than this mouse. But we'll go ahead and see the competition here. The next mouse we'll be looking at is the Corsair Night Sword RGB. Coming in at $10 below the Dark Core at $79.99, this mouse definitely packs a punch and has a lot to offer. This mouse is extremely customizable, having six weights that come with it to tune how heavy it is. I personally keep all the weights because I love heavy mice. And also having three stages of DPI, it comes with a sniper button, proving very useful in some of the FPS's that I play. This mouse is also very big and fits my hand perfectly compared to the Dark Core, and extremely comfortable having a contoured shape, but sadly it has no finger rest on the right, which messes me up as my fingers rub on the mouse pad. Not only is this mouse amazing at comfort, but it's outstanding at performance. Also having an 18,000 DPI optical sensor, but it also has 10 fully programmable buttons, Therefore, you don't have to worry about slow macros. The best part about this mouse is the fact that it's wired, and it doesn't randomly disconnect whenever something important happens. On top of those perts, it also has some pretty cool RGB lighting. I love the net texture in front of the light dissipator, as it matches the rest of my setup. But something pretty odd about this mouse, though, is the fact that the scroll wheel lighting zone has a weird purple hue to it, but it's just a minor inconvenience. And of course, everything that this mouse has to offer can be modified through Corsair IQ, from key assignments all the way down to the actual weight tuning, which it's pretty cool because it's able to sense which weights are in the mouse. But you could also go to the device settings, enable angle snapping, change the brightness, or change the pulling rate of this mouse. And this mouse has a two year warranty, so there's no need to fear. Alrighty guys, that'll have to do it for this video. This was just a short, fun video to compare two different mouses. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, go ahead and leave a like, dislike if you didn't, subscribe if you want to, and comment down below which mouse did you like. Did you like the Dark Core? Did you like the Night Sword? Or did you just hate both of them? <laughs> I re I'm really open, I'm all ears to you guys' feedback, and I'm really looking forward to you guys' comments. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.